Welcome to the City of Cape Town Solid Waste Management Disposal Branch. At our disposal facilities, we believe that safety is your right and that safety is your responsibility. We have therefore produced this short safety induction video to help you look after your own safety as well as the safety of others. OH&S is an acronym for Occupational Health and Safety. We have written occupational health and safety policies that inform all we do at the City of Cape Town. For more detailed information on our OH&S policy statements, please consult the printed poster material displayed throughout our facilities. The Solid Waste Disposal Branch has four different types of waste handling facilities. The composting plant takes domestic household refuse and processes it to become rich compost used in a variety of domestic and commercial applications. Two materials recycling facilities remove items that can be recycled from waste. In doing so, we reduce the amount of refuse going into our landfill sites. Four refuse transfer stations receive waste from a large fleet of specialized collection vehicles and further compact it for transport by road and rail to its final landfill destination. Three landfill sites are currently in use. They are located in Belleville South, Coastal Park Musenberg, and Fissershock. Two of these sites receive general waste, while Fissershock receives general as well as low to medium hazard waste. There are a number of closed sites across the metropole that are continuously managed and monitored. At all our sites, we operate community drop-off facilities. swimming, or any other human activity. Please note that there are dangerous on-site mobile plant vehicles, such as compactors, hook lifts, and slave vehicles that are constantly on the move. Cranes carrying overhead or suspended loads are common. No driver is permitted to remain in his vehicle while a crane is being operated overhead. 
dangerous fixed plant machines with moving components, such as conveyor belts and waste compactors, are also a concern. Should there be an emergency while working on a conveyor belt or compactor, either pull the tripping wire or push the stop button to shut down operations. The railroad shunting area, located at Fissershock, and the Athlone Refuse Transfer Station are also restricted and dangerous environments. It is important for employees, contractors and visitors to maintain a high level of alertness while on site. Should you hear a warning alarm, please follow these emergency procedures. You must stop work on the site immediately and make the area and the equipment that you're working with safe. Close off gas cylinders and switch off any electrical appliances. If you're driving a vehicle on a landfill site, pull over to the side of the road if possible. When you have done that, check the wind direction and look for any visible signs of the incident. Whatever site you're at, leave the site following the emergency route signage and gather at the nearest designated assembly point. Stay at the assembly point as a roll call will need to be taken. Remember, you are entering a high-risk area. So there are several important safety rules that must be heeded at all times. Because of the risk of fire and explosions, we strictly control access of all devices that can cause a flame or spark. Cell phones can spark, causing a fire. They are therefore strictly prohibited in areas where gas may be present. Smoking is not permitted except in clearly designated smoking zones where you see one of these signs on display. Safety work permits are required for contractors working on site in the following jobs. Hot works such as welding, excavation work, vessel entry, confined space entry, Specialized maintenance work on process equipment. Work on electrical systems. All hazmat operations. And working at heights. Detailed lockout procedures are in place for our plant and equipment. Work permits and procedure documents must be obtained from the site office prior to lockout work commencing. Site management will assist in their application. The first step is to perform a task-based risk assessment for the required maintenance. The plant or equipment then needs to be shut down and isolated from all energy supplies. The next step is the application of the appropriate locks and tags and testing the effectiveness of the lockout. Only once this is done can maintenance begin. Once the work is complete, the lockout tags can be removed and the plant or machine restarted. The City of Cape Town has a zero tolerance policy on the use of alcohol or drugs. Random breathalyzer tests will be conducted on employees, contractors and visitors upon arrival. In operational areas, employees and contractors may need to wear hard tip safety shoes, long pants, long sleeve shirt, reflective vest, dust mask and safety glasses. Contractors and transporters must ensure their staff brought on site obey all rules and procedures and be in possession 
of all required safety clothing and equipment. Visitors to our facilities will be supplied with appropriate safety clothing. It is also important that visitors remain in their group during the visit. In other high-risk areas, a hard hat, earplugs, hazmat suit, steel midsole shoes or respirator may be required. Please observe area-specific safety signage, which clearly indicates what personal protection equipment is required in any given work area. There are also safety rules that govern the driving of private vehicles onto sites. Firstly, due to the occurrence of high levels of dust and vapors, poor visibility may be experienced by drivers. It is therefore important that drivers remain alert and vehicles stay visible at all times during a visit. We discourage drivers listening to radios or music via headphones while on site. It is also important that drivers be courteous and obey all on-site signage and instructions given to them by operational staff. Regular visitors who have completed this safety induction course will be given a safety card. Please ensure that you have this in your possession at all times. Finally, Solid Waste Disposal would like to highlight some additional security and safety issues. There are several clearly marked restricted areas on the sites. Areas such as the leachate plant and pumps, co-disposal areas, methane sampling points, and the flammable and fuel stores are strictly off-limits to contract workers and visitors. Because of the environment in which we work, personal hygiene is very important. No eating is permitted on-site except in the canteens provided for that purpose. Any food items delivered to the site for disposal must not be removed or consumed. In fact, you may not salvage or remove anything from solid waste disposal sites. This is illegal. We ask that you practice neatness and tidiness at all times. For instance, do not leave things lying where they can cause accidents or obstructions in the event of an emergency. If you are injured and require any medical or first aid assistance, please contact the on-site first aider and follow the established procedures. Please remember that at the City of Cape Town, we believe that safety is your right and that safety is your responsibility. We wish you a safe and secure visit.